think. Oh, I can't do supers, I've only got one hand. I slip out. Whoop. The other week, I was able to track me down one of these in the store. And, um, yeah, full of Cybertron Grimlock. Go figure. So, got them. And, um, first thing I have to say is that I do like the way he looks very much. Um, the silvery gray paint could have been more gray and the gold could have been more goldy but um yeah I, I, I still kind of dig it the head is a little bit different than the G1 but again this is full of Cybertron and I think the robot mode pretty good gripes he is very hollow as all of the full of Cybertron figures pretty much were um excuse me He's very light and pretty cheap feeling. I mean, he doesn't feel like he's going to break apart in my hands right now, but he does feel rather fragile compared to my other Grimlocks and toys in general. Now, the details look really nice. I mean, they could have been, you know, more more prominent, but I'm I'm okay with him not looking like he's got glow stick stuck in every um, every crack and every nook and cranny. I'm, I'm good with that. He comes with a shield. He comes with a sword. And um, they look nice. They look good. And they're, you know, translucent plastic. They have pegs all over them, so you can, if you don't want to have them holding it, you can have them have it on his shoulder if you want to. It doesn't really work for me, so let's take this shield off too. Again, you can plug that into the shoulder. Uh, he does have a gimmick in this mode. If you press the, I don't know how well it's going to show up, but if you do the gimmick for his dinosaur head, it does light up his chest a bit. That's not really, uh, really groovy. Let me, he does have light piping. Sorry, I'm reaching over, I'm reaching past my means. And um, I don't know how well it's going to show because I've got bright light going towards it. Let's see. I can see it a little bit. Let's see if I can shut out the light without... There we go. Oops, sorry. Yeah, he has light piping. It looks okay. Ow, that was hot! And, um... Yeah. Shoulders rotate. They wiggle in and out. They, uh... Go out like so... They're really hollow. His, they're ratchety too, that's good. Elbows ratchety. Rotation at the bicep a bit. Um, hands rotate, and that's about it for that part. Head is on a mini ball joint, so you can do that. Rotate it. Legs forward. Bends at the knee. And that's it. The toes move just a wee bit, but not really. So... You're not going to get too, too many poses with this guy. He can hold any weapon that has a 5mm peg on it. So, you can see, there he is with my custom painted Infinity Warfare sword, which matches him fairly well. Um, I think it looks nice. Thinking of custom painting this guy so that the silver is more silver and the gold is more gold. I'm not sure about that because I just, you know, don't want to ruin the figure. But, yeah. So, that's pretty much that. Transformation is not very hard. You're going to... What are we going to do first? Come back here. We're going to take this. And at, we're going to bring this up. We're going to unfold the head. And then this snaps into place. And there he is, half transformed already. 
So you're going to take his feet right here, open them up so you can slide his hand in, and that automatically brings the toe this way. So there's one foot, and then kind of straighten the leg out a little bit. One foot, do the same thing on this side, bring that up. And you've got the other foot. And uh, then you're going to take this bit, these bits here, and you're going to slide them in and rotate the, uh, the shoulder bits. And they will sort of slot in here up at the uh, right there. So this keeps your dino legs from moving but you can still bend the knees. So yeah, posability has just been uh, thrown right out the window because there's really not much you can do with them if you lock the legs in. But you're going to do the same thing on the other side and then you've got a Grimlock that's his legs are kind of... he looks weird. He does look weird. In, he looked weird in Dino Mode in the game so... Now you're going to take his legs and you're going to come under and you're going to un unpeg these bits right here. And you're going to slide this up. And you're going to slide this other bit up. Slide it up. Come on now. It's supposed to slide up. Stop bending at the knee. Slide up. Okay. That was my my thing telling me that I gotta hurry up and then you're going to peg them together at the tail at the end of the tail I should say and there you've got his really fat tail so Grimlock has been eating a lot to store up for winter hibernation that's where lizards store um, the food is in their tail so which is why lizards never get fat, but their tails get do. But anyway, that's not you neither here nor there. And there you've got the dino mode. And it looks uh, silly. It does. This would look a lot better if this tail wasn't like this. And also if the head wasn't sculpted the way it was. And here's something weird. If I cover this, you can see the top of the G1 animation head right there. You can see it. There's Right there's his eye. Let me see if I got my pen thing. See if I can highlight that a little bit better. Right there. So, which is weird. It's like they started going with this head and said it's not big enough or something and crafted all this other, or wasn't alien enough and crafted all this other crap on top of it. So now you've got this. If you press this back, his head lights up and it looks cool but there's no way to, to keep it on and whatever posability his head can look down and up just slightly arms are in a bowl joint he's supposed to be a t-rex but he's got three fingers again which uh is really dumb and uh he doesn't really bend at the hips unless you unpeg him you unpeg him you can get more you know his knees bend and straighten out. So you can get them like this. If you want to get them in a classic, more classic uh, G1 pose, you can put his legs down like so and then just bend that forward. And now he's a classic G1. Um, you can store the weapons on the sides. And then he looks dumb. And that's it. Um... The going price for these this guy is in Walmart twenty two dollars. I get a discount, so it still wasn't quite worth it to be honest with you. But uh, maybe the add on sets will add some something to it. I mean, I kind of like it, and I, I love the I like the robot mode a lot. But this mode really kind of stinks. And again, this is one of the reasons why I berated Hasbro so much when this line came out and uh, the Beast Hunters line and everything came out because it, it, they were just putting out junk. Now they're putting out good stuff. So yay Hasbro, glad you've uh, you've learned. You know, maybe you want to take a second crack at this guy and get it right. I'm Ice Slip, I'm out.